Hello everyone, welcome to Prep Doctors Facebook Live. Today's discussion is on uh, the ACS exam, how to prepare for the ACS course, the ACS exam. Uh, ACS is uh, one of the most difficult, one of the longest, one of the most time consuming financially, uh, you know, one of the most expensive processes. So today we've invited uh, one of our ACS instructors, Dr. Farsan to join us to talk about uh, the whole uh, clinical skills uh, process, the course, uh, you know, how to get prepared, uh, how to be ready uh, for uh, this exam. So welcome, Dr. Farsan. Uh, Hi, how are you? Hi. Good. So, uh, Doctor, tell us uh, what is the clinical skills course? What is this part of the process? So in general, the ACS is one of the three exams mm -hmm. uh, any, and like, uh, like any dentist who's coming to Canada, mm -hmm. they are going to the, from the non-accredited, of course, from right. the non-accredited um, uh, like universities. Mm -hmm. They are going to do those three exams, starting with AFK judgment and right. skills. After they passing the AFK exams, they gonna have two options or mm -hmm. two exams open to do them. One of those exams is the skills. Clinical right. skills is basically a two days exam. Mm -hmm. You have to do certain uh, like projects on mm -hmm. those two days. And you have like to pass it in, in like in order to finish the equivalency process okay. before going to the final process, which is doing the written and the okay. uh, OSCE exam. So, so Dr. Farsan, uh, the first two exams, the AFK and uh, ACJ, whether you know, however they decide to take it. So, ACJ and AFK are uh, study-based exams, and this one is practical. Is that correct? Yes, that's true. Actually, like in the first two. Mm -hmm. Uh, two exams, uh, two exams in general. People mm -hmm. they focus more on reading books, right. knowing their knowledge, and uh, like understanding what's mm -hmm. going on in the industry. And they are asking um, among everything or all, all the topics right. for the uh, for the, the in the industry in general. Mm -hmm. But regarding the skills, it's based on just like your skills, how you're gonna conduct these projects, how you're gonna do it. It's basically or purely skills wise. Okay. They're gonna just examine the part of the skills because you know dentistry is all about like doing the work in general right. there's like a s the skills part is really major okay so they are focusing on that exams uh, to just like test the people and uh, the dentists who are going to be the, uh, a canadian dentist okay so dr farsan i do understand that uh, this is one of the most uh, practice heavy or the most time consuming or uh, even like the most expensive of all the three exams in the equivalency process. Uh, can you tell us, Dr. Farsan, why is uh, ACS uh, so uh, stressful or what are the things that uh, people need to understand when they're starting the process of ACS exam? Like usually what I usually t tell my, my students mm -hmm. when I'm talking about like explaining the exam itself, uh, the exam itself, I don't think it is like like hard, what, have, what, have, what, what people going through mm -hmm. to reach to that to do to, to those two days of examination mm -hmm. is why it is really tough okay. in general so like in general there's a lot of sacrifices we will be talking about throughout the way mm -hmm. they have to take course that course at least it should we recommend usually five months course okay. minimally to be prepared for the exam right some people we always we, we sometime also push them more than five months if they weren't prepared the money they're gonna spend there's a lot like they spend a really good amount of yes. money on those two exam and th on this exam in course wise and also the exam itself. Yes. If you know, like uh, from the NDEB now, there is the price in the last exam right. up to nine thousand. Oh so my the God. exam now is nine thousand for That's those two days, and also the material because you are, you must provide your materials. You go to the exam with your material in general, so those materials also. Right. Will cost a lot. Right. Courses are also not that easy. So mm -hmm. in general, like the whole thing. Is, is about you're gonna spend a lot on those uh, three parts and also the time you're gonna spend practicing these things. Mm -hmm. In general, like uh, as a dentist, because most of the dentists we are, we are seeing, mm -hmm. they are coming from like uh, their countries, they are already practicing and they're having like a good career. They come back to just practice on plastic teeth it's a bit like harsh sometimes. Definitely. Some people, they don't take it, e take it easily. But I, what I always say, this is unfortunately the system and we have to follow it. Like right. we have no hands on changing these things in general. Right. So this is one of the uh, parts and we have to Ad adjust finish. and exactly. adapt. Exactly, adjust and adapt on. and finish it. Yes. After they finish the exam, 
everything will be much better. They have exactly. just to take two exams and they will be licensed on and they can they can consider themselves a Canadian dentist and they right. can go to the workplaces. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's a great uh, sort of uh, way to begin talking about uh, the whole uh, process of getting prepared for the clinical skills. You mentioned that uh, it is entirely on plastic teeth. Yes, this, um, is, this is one of the challenges. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, so, Dr. Frisan, tell me, uh, how does one uh, get prepared uh, to be, as you mentioned, in the right frame of mind to start working on plastic teeth, to start, uh, you know, just their process of, uh, you know, their journey of the clinical skills process? Yes. I'll, I'll be talking a, a little bit before l that point, which uh -huh. is most of the dentists we are seeing, they really have specialities. They are working like for a long time, some of right. them. They have a lot of experiences. One of the parts or the points I usually tell my students at least mm -hmm. to do is just to forget about dentistry in that matter because mm -hmm. they have to go back to a kind of a step one because usually we do those in the second year in the school oh, okay. that's that th that's the time we were where we did like the practice okay. on the, these plastic teeth after that we never saw them until you know we get in touch let's say to a process like process we have here mm -hmm. so in general they have just to forget a bit about like their experiences their way of doing things mm -hmm. they have to change and to adopt and to listen kind of to whatever we are saying because what we are trying to do is to really Reframe or reformat the way they're gonna do these projects right. to make them success and pass this exam because this is the most important part in that right. in this matter. So generally, the first thing I usually tell, let's say, we have projects like pr tooth teeth preparation, a full metal crown preparation, or a PFM porcelain infused to metal crown preparation, and we have a lot of prosto specialists who are okay. specialists in the in these things. Yes. We tell them just to take it step back and mm -hmm. to really follow what we are, whatever we're saying for the sake of finishing the whole thing. Right. So sometimes if someone has that speciality, it's just going to be, um, you know, it's just going to be... It's hard uh, to uh, unlearn. Exactly. Uh, yes. So this is a part we usually go through it, right. especially in the first two weeks up to a month of mm -hmm. the course. After that, things will go much better, especially after okay. we conduct the first mock exam. People will understand what we are talking about. Right. You're going to see things are moving much better. Okay, so um, Dr. Farsan, uh, of course, people who are coming for uh, the ACS exam, they've either completed uh, the AFK or they've completed the AFK and the ACJ. Yeah. How do they uh, get ready to, uh, you know, deal with a completely practical lab-based exam? How do they uh, sort of keep aside what they've learned for the AFK and ACJ processes? Uh, like in general, like the, the, the things, the two, the two part of the process or the mm -hmm. literature part and the skills part have nothing to do mostly with each other. Okay. So simply the skills exam is purely skills. Right. They don't have to really be good at theory part okay. to finish it. It's right. basically how skills, skillful they are. Right. And it's not going to mix, honestly. The whole part is you can study anywhere right. in general. You can go to a library and study. You can study at home. You mm -hmm. can study in any place you would like to. So right. the skills is a bit uh, like you have. It's a different setup. You have right. to have that setup to work with. Right. So we have usually the, the lab, which mm -hmm. is the main point or the main area people they have to focus on when they are practicing right. for the skills because they don't only learn from s instructors mm -hmm. they also learn from each other this That's is also okay. w w one of the one of the point they have to just go through right. and the second thing people sometimes they really buy those home units and start making a small setup at home so basically right. you're going to be working between at least one place mm -hmm. or those two spots right otherwise it's not convenient so right. this is one of the things also yes uh, like in general they have to think about mm -hmm. and um, we human in general or dentist when we look at how we are like uh, how our mind our own mindset in general mm -hmm. we have people who really like to read and really like to learn right and we have other people who really like to do and to work they have a skill right. a, a skill better than the others but mm -hmm. overall skill exam is learnable you can learn how to do the exam you can learn okay. how to pass this exam that is an excellent point. Yes, yeah, okay. because this is one of the things, I, because like when we start, let's say, any course, we have mm -hmm. students who really, and dentists who really start 
good from the first week and they are doing and performing in a very good right. way and there's other people who are majority right. usually they are really slow and they are not getting into it and they are frustrated how someone is giving a good work and they are not it's just limitations sometimes <laughs> but overall like three three months two to three months down the road in the course everyone will see no they have that they right. can learn it it's learnable it's not something you are not going to be able to do it mm -hmm. I, I personally like it honestly like i like it i like skills more than afk or judgment right. in terms of examination itself mm -hmm. and db also a, a bit more clear about that right let's say god forbid someone failed acj or afk they're right. really not going to be able to know what they did or what what's did the problem wrong. exactly right. in skills it's a bit more transparent they mm -hmm. can check their work they can see their project right. and mostly they will have an answer right so it's this definitely is, exactly yes. this is also a good point or a good part i like about right. ACS. Yes, it, I think as you mentioned, it helps that uh, this is the most transparent uh, yes. exam of the process. So yes, that, that's, right. I can say it definitely. This is the, the one of the, I'm not saying this is 100% transparent, right. but it is one of the most. Absolutely, doctor. Um, so, doctor, when it comes to, uh, we, we get this question very often. This is one of the questions that was emailed to us mm. uh, when we announced this uh, live session today. Mm. Uh, what would you recommend? Do people, I mean, of course, you have to finish the AFK exam first, but do you do, uh, the ACS first, do you do the a ACJ first? Which one would you recommend? Like uh, among all of us, usually when we are doing this process, we, mm. we rank them this way AFK first, okay. ACJ second, then skills. Right. We have very few uh, dentists who are because they have maybe time limitation or something, they mm. do both exams together. Right. Uh, there's very, very few people who are mm -hmm. doing skills before ACJ because okay. simply there is an AFK which is a theory part. You mm -hmm. go to the judgment, it's simply theory part in a, in a practical fashion. They, they are doing diagnostic right. tests and they are doing like case studies in general. This is about the ACJ. Mm -hmm. And then it comes to ACS which okay. is totally has nothing to do with the theory part for okay. most of it. Okay. So I would say the first one is AFK, ACJ the second and ACS is the third one. Okay, perfect. So this ACS is going to be the last big hurdle e of the entire exactly, recruiting exactly. process. And it's that's how like we recommend Because it. those are the big three exams I consider right. them. Whatever comes after them, it just like something is just a step right. and they're going to be totally fine. Absolutely. So doctor, uh, we now understand the format of the exam. We understand, uh, you know, where in the process it should be. Now, if we start talking about, you know, actually getting prepared, uh, we, as you mentioned. Yeah, I just sure. missed one point, which uh -huh. is the, the exam itself. Okay. Exam, I didn't mention exactly how, like, how they gonna for, how they format it in general. Sure. I said it's about projects. We are talking about the 12 projects. Okay. They have to do them in day one and in day two. Okay. Half of them in day one, half of them in day two. Let okay. me separate them and talk about each one of them, mm. uh, just briefly. Mm -hmm. So the first in day one, we have uh, PFM or porcelain infused metal preparation. Mm -hmm. And in, in day one also we have amalgam restoration. They're okay. gonna provide a pre-cut tooth to do an amalgam restoration on it. Mm -hmm. And the third project, which is also composite, MOD composite mm -hmm. restoration. Also, they're gonna provide a pre-cut tooth mm -hmm. prepared for MOD preparation, mm -hmm. uh, um, um, MOD prepared tooth, and you have to do mm -hmm. a composite restoration in it. And also you're gonna have to do a class three preparation mm -hmm. on a multi-layer carious tooth, we call it. And also we have an endo access preparation okay. which is also in day one in day two we will have uh, full metal crown preparation mm -hmm. and we will have mod uh, class two amalgam uh, preparation and we will have also provisional crown uh, fabrication and we will have class four restoration class four composite restoration on, on, on anterior pre-cut tooth those are the nine project the main nine projects you right. have to do th through day one and day two mm -hmm. now we will have also the record keeping mm -hmm rubber dam and infection control. Infection okay. control will be conducted over two days, mm -hmm. day one and day two. Mm -hmm. They will be considered, they considered as a checklist. Right. So you have a certain amount of mistakes you, you might do, but in right. general, if you violated more than two or two, three mistakes, then the, 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 that project you will lose it. 
and then we will have rubber dam. You're gonna have it either day one or day two, mm -hmm. and they will give you half an hour extra time okay. in whenever day, w which days you're gonna take it. Okay. And also you have a record keeping, which is usually the first project you're gonna do in day two, mm -hmm. which is writing just about two projects in general. Okay. And this is, th these are all, all of them are a, a part of these skills in general. Mm -hmm. So if we wanna separate them, I would say nine projects, mm -hmm. they're gonna consider them or mark them according to a table, that table has three columns. Okay. And they will be giving a result of A plus, A, D, or E. A All plus right. is an excellent. Mm -hmm. A is an is a very good. D is acceptable, not mm -hmm. that good, but acceptable. Mm -hmm. And E is failure, like you fail that project. Okay. And when when it, how you can pass this exam, from those twelve projects, you have to get at least eight A's with okay. no E's, which mean the rest are four D's. Right. Or nine A's, mm -hmm. one E, and two D's. This okay. is the cutoff in general in both. All right. So if you, let's say, got 10 A or A pluses, mm -hmm. or you pass 10 projects and you fail two, mm -hmm. this is not a pass. Okay. It should be the maximum number of failure in, the, in, in those projects, right. it must be around one E. Okay. Yeah, I talk about a lot of No, that, but that's this good. Is, because these things uh, people are always absolutely. asking about. Absolutely, and this is great information. They need to understand uh, if you sort of prepare, keeping in mind exactly. what's going to happen I in the exam. I talk about them briefly in it's general. It's really but helpful yeah. information, yeah. yes. So I'm, I'm hoping that everyone made a note of it. This yes. video is going to be recorded for them and to again, look at this. And again, I think they can ask or... Yes, uh, you guys can also ask us questions towards the end. Dr. Farsan will be taking some live questions. So, you know, feel free to an ask your questions in the comments below and uh, I'll uh, share them with Dr. Farsan and he'll be able to specifically respond to those questions. Um, so, Dr. Farsan, um, we do get like a lot of, uh, you know, this is uh, towards the beginning. The, our course is going to start in July. Uh, the five-month course is going to start in yeah. July. This is the time when most of the registrations have already come in. People are preparing. People are looking at, uh, you know, uh, getting their kits ready, getting their lists ready. So, uh, from, from our end, how do uh, we provide them the information to get prepared? What are the things that uh, they require? in order to uh, get started for the course. Yeah, so first of all, like I, I, regarding the registration, we have at least at least three sessions are full already by now. They are, yes. Yeah, so like if someone really wants to register, they have to think yes. about it from now, because usually people are really now start to prepare ahead of time. Right, right, right. Now, the things when you register right away, you're going to get an information, and even before registering, if any time anyone mm -hmm. wants to know some more extra information, usually right. they can call the front desk, they can either set up an appointment right. or make a phone uh, conversation yes. with any of the instructor who's going to provide um, an extra information or specific information right. according to each one right needs and when they register right away they're going to receive um, a list of material mm -hmm. recommended material right. because materials are everywhere we cannot just limit them but right. we can say oh this is what the minimum needed uh, right. material instruments and they're going to have a list of teeth right the teeth are really important because usually they are in back order and a lot of people they really mm -hmm. suffer ordering them so because and usually when we're having like when we are talking about afk and acj and the mm -hmm. orientation we mention always to order the teeth for the skill if you are going to the skill so okay. most of people who are who comes they really right. already prepare at least six months before wow okay just to to order these teeth right okay so the teeth there is a list of it i don't mm -hmm. want to go into specifics but <coughs> they will know about it. They can right. ask about it, and they can have it. Have it. They they already, I think, have. I the think list. anyone who registered, yes. they have the list, and I think yes. most of them they already ordered. Yes. And then the material, right. as we said, when they come to the orientation, mm -hmm. the orientation basically is going to be talking about in, a bit in details and whatever mm -hmm. going on in the course, how they're going to start, mm -hmm. the instructor sessions, the live demos, the videos, mm -hmm. and all of the facilities they're going to go through it. Right. Okay. The time, their time, the sessions, and the times inside the lab. Mm -hmm they will be also they will know or be familiar with people around them like the one who's like the the the, the engineer who's taking care of the technicians part right. the front desk the yes. people who are taking care of like scheduling and yes. all of these things this is about orientation right and also one thing i forgot which is loops okay loops everyone mostly they're gonna have loops okay. is and always i got that this question is loops uh, a must mm -hmm. I would say now we made it as a must okay. because mm -hmm. most of us gonna be wearing that loops. Right. And I think when when like when you come to that environment, you mm -hmm. wanna have you wanna have the same thing because right. you don't want to feel that you are not 
doing what it takes to. Right. So yeah, loops is really important and, and you should order it also ahead of a time. If okay. you have prescription, you have to do that right. and to contact any of those companies, there is many of them, to contact them. And right. usually when they, they are asking me what is the best loop, mm -hmm. like I, I can, I have those preferences, but in general, you can invite those uh, sales uh, reps and try to see what right. is the best option for you. The loose ma magnification, mm -hmm. which is also a question we usually have, I'm trying to answer yes, uh, yes, yes. the questions people are al yes. always We've like. We've got these questions, you're exactly yes. answering the ones that have been coming. Yeah, because uh, I'm just going through that. Right. So simply the magnification we recommend, it's 2.5 up okay. to 3, 3.2 is the maximum. We don't right. want people to go right away more than 3.2. It's gonna be really okay. hard on them to start right away on a, mm -hmm. a higher magnification. Okay. I would recommend 2.5 to 2.8 always. Okay. That's like my, my recommendation as a magnification. Perfect. And I like to have it as an HD, not the old fashioned uh, loops. Mm -hmm. There's like a new, a new like styles, which they are in HD, which is really, really much better for the eye. And also okay. the vision, the field, uh, the vision of field or field of vision is gonna be right. uh, larger. Okay, that's great information. So as Dr. F uh, Farsan mentioned, there's a lot of things you need in advance prior to yes. the course begins. You need your materials, uh, you need your instruments, you need your teeth, most importantly. You also uh, need loops, as Dr. M uh, Farsan mentioned, we do recommend uh, having the loops. So uh, usually when you register, we give you a list of recommended uh, uh, providers or yes. sellers uh, as well. So if anyone wants that information, uh, we'll have it in the comments. You can message us on Facebook and we'll uh, connect you to the sellers. Uh, we used to, I think a couple of years ago, we used to uh, uh, provide uh, equipment, but now I do know that we are completely focusing just on the learning, e just e on the content. Exactly. Uh, we don't sell our equipment anymore. Yeah. So we, we can recommend sellers to you, but uh, as, as prep doctors, we are uh, completely on, focused on the le learning part, just yes. on the learning part. Um, as uh, again, Doctor mentioned uh, on the emails, the welcome emails, we send you a couple of emails with all the information you need uh, before the course. So you have a list of uh, instructor recommended materials. You have a list of instructor recommended teeth. Yes. So uh, go through all those uh, lists. There's all the information uh, is there out uh, on those uh, emails or just message us, we'll be happy to provide them. Uh, we have a huge team of people from our front desk to uh, our instructors yeah. to our uh, whole admin staff. We're all working towards making this course a great experience. You're almost, I mean, people who take the ACS course with us become family exactly, uh, because to us. Honestly, I, I, I see these people more than family most exactly. of the time because exactly. I spend a lot of time right. in, in, in labs between here and Richmond. Right. And like we see, we, we get to know each other in a, in so a personal level. Well, on a yes. personal level, because I mean, they're here for at least five hours yes. a day, all the days of the week, exactly. Monday to Saturday. So uh, it's gonna be a long journey and it's gonna be an amazing learning experience. So that's what we're aiming that's, for. Well, that's what we are hoping for. Exactly. Absolutely, Doctor. So, uh, uh, Doctor, uh, we're talking about, uh, you know, getting prepared and, uh, uh, the question now uh, comes about, uh, you know, the structure of the course. How is it structured from the beginning? You did mention that, you know, some obviously everybody learns in a different way. Some people are sort of experts from the day they start. Some people, uh, for some people, it's a learning process. Uh, you know, they improve on it slowly. How is uh, our course structured, uh, doctor, to, uh, you know, if you can explain uh, sort of the structure of our ACS course yes. a bit. So in general, like our course, how the, how we conduct this course, usually we have two days uh, of instructor days. Okay. Those two days in, in the first, uh, yeah, two days a week. Mm -hmm. And those, the, in the first like month to month and a half, they're gonna be lectures and also work check in okay. general, because we're gonna provide the literature or we're gonna be like giving lectures right. on how uh, about each project and individually. And okay. we'll be focusing about each one of them. Okay. This is how usually we start. When those lectures are done, mm -hmm. we're gonna it's gonna be just totally purely uh, work check time. Okay. Uh, we will check whatever people were doing, like right. and on the times they are working on them, uh, uh, like in their own times. Right. In general, 
and we will be telling them how to fix, how to improve, how to correct. We can also sometime later through the course, mm -hmm. we start to grade them and we will tell them why this mistake happened, okay. how it happened, how to avoid it. And we right. will be mentioning even sometimes multiple ways of corrections. Right. This it's become in our part as an instructor because we mm -hmm. have a really great team of instructors. Yes. They are all experienced and most like mostly they did these exams. Absolutely. And each one of them has a different like uh, in general like a different experience with right. the exam they're gonna share it and they're gonna make the whole po the whole journey or yes. the whole thing of the exam as known as with no surprises in general as right. much as it can be for everyone this we've, is how they, they we focus that's true doctor we've, we've actually heard from people who take the course that you know i was having trouble with a certain technique and there were like so many options that we showed yeah, them you know yes, uh, of the, becoming like an expert on exactly. that project this is a way how we we conduct our course we focus right. on teaching them right. many ways and at the end of the day they can put together the way they like because right. Honestly, the way that you do the any project, I don't mm -hmm. care about it. I care about the final project. If right. it is passing, that's what what we need generally. Right. So the second part also of mm -hmm. the of the course, uh, we have a live demos. Okay. These are gonna be according to to the instructor days. These live demo, we will have like a group of people right. in each session, and I will come myself and uh, and my follow up like instructors. Uh, instructors in general. Yes. We will give a live demos in these projects. Okay. In the start, they're gonna be. And like uh, synced with the lectures in mm -hmm. th themselves, mm -hmm. and later on they will be according to each student or that group preference. If they want to okay. see this project, the other project, they want to see it in a different right. way, and this is regarding the live demos. Right. Um, and also we have. I, I would like to mention about the demos. Now I'm not a dentist or a dental student. Yeah. I do come from a technical, uh, you know, background, yeah. and I do understand that we have an excellent uh, technology when it comes to giving these demos or even the demo videos for that matter exactly. they're so like 4k demo videos we have uh, superior uh, you know digital quality videos mm -hmm. and even the demo lectures we have a uh, very unique uh, way in which we, uh, you know, make sure that everybody can exactly clearly see yes. what's going on. Yes. And uh, I, we get a lot of great feedback about uh, the way we are, you know, giving our de live demos and the demo usually, videos. So. The live demo days is a big day usually in the right. lab because you're going to see ma multiple instructors. You're going to see like a lot of people that are really learning and right. we can see that thing in their faces that they are getting it. Okay. And regarding also the videos, this is really important because in their alone time, which mm -hmm. I consider the best time for them to learn. Right. Because, because we give that information. Exactly. We give the information. And right. at the end of the day, you as like a dentist who are with us yes. in the course should focus and learn right. whatever we give throughout those sessions in general. Definitely. So the videos sometimes if you don't have if you don't have some like you sometimes you might have that question and you don't know yes. how to answer it and you don't know what's going on. Right. If you go watch the video of that mm -hmm. project specific thing you might see us doing answering it without even knowing right. because with time even right. watching the video multiple times you will see that oh you are seeing things you weren't focused on, so it wasn't right. important to you, mm -hmm. and this time it is. So, so we're giving them sort of multiple e avenues exactly. to understand and they the have same access, process. Access for these videos anytime oh, uh, throughout great. the course, like in, in any time the lab is open, they can okay. go and come and watch these videos. They are dedicated for them right. in any time. Okay, that's great information. So, yes. uh, Doctor, you mentioned about uh, slightly uh, about the structure. You were talking about the demo videos. You said uh, we have work check days. Uh, tell us, tell me some more features of our course, Doctor. So, in general, like uh, how I will talk about it this time. So, let's talk about what we have as a new next next cycle in general. Okay. I would say now the uh, the ratio of student instructor mm -hmm. gonna be less. Okay. Okay. Next cycle. So we have be more instructors more, we have for more instructor, students. Yes, yes, we have more instructor ratio to, for students, and they're gonna see multiple of them, and they're right. gonna be rotating in a in, in a very nice way for them to learn. Right. Uh, what we also we will have we are changing our chairs this time. Okay. Okay. This is like something also we will do next cycle. Right. Also, we have some technical issues. We had them, and we are fixing them because you know like these things are they, they right. sometimes fail so we are also fixing them and we are we've been doing that okay. and it's going right now okay. and <coughs> sorry and uh, in general like when we are talking about how we are taking these things mm -hmm. 
we will like we will start usually as we said mentioning the uh, uh, talking about uh, each project and right. then we will go to the lab we will check and we will start preparing students to start working on these projects right after a while mm -hmm. after finishing all of these lectures we will be conducting work check always and live demos on a weekly basis mm -hmm. and then we will have mock exams comes comes up and right. the mock exam it's really 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 uh, an important part of our course right we put the students to in this situation okay. i'm not gonna say it's as crucial as the exam because right. you know it's a, just a mock exam but people really get to learn a lot Definitely. from this and i always say the first mock most of the time i tell people this mm -hmm. is don't look at it from a grading perspective look at mm -hmm. it from a learning perspective right you learn a lot in those uh, them on those mock exams okay. you learn about the exam itself a lot and right. like back in, in the days when I was giving those mm -hmm. let's say uh, courses it wasn't as mm -hmm. like uh, complete or as like like uh, crucial and as important right. as it is right now. Absolutely. And we wish we had that experience in our time because we would just go to the exam as something familiar. Right. Yeah, so we put, we do all of this. We right. structure it between us. We always changing according to the way, the, the, the way it is better. We always right. talking about it, me and the other instructors. We right. try to update and upgrade. And this yes. is also, you can see it going on Absolutely. throughout the course. Yes, also, I, so. I do want to mention that we have a dedicated uh, academic research team that, uh, you know, works on yes. constantly updating yes. the material uh, even for the ACS right. course there's this constant research it, it, going exactly. on uh, we have dedicated team members to do that so uh, you know I, I it's it's a really uh, updated uh, updated uh, process in yes which, uh, and also have. marking wise we yes. do the marking uh, anonymously we don't know who we are marking right. so the students they will get also to experience yes. that with us so it's very objective. and it is honestly like uh, it, it tell also it teach us sometimes as right. instructor what we should put on what we should improve among people mm -hmm. we will know sometime what is the projects people are really having defects on we might focus on it a little bit more right one of the things also we're going to add next uh, in cycle. the next the next cycle we're mm -hmm. gonna teach we're gonna focus on teaching people how to check work also right okay. this is something we've been doing here but we weren't focused on it as teaching the, mm -hmm. the, the the projects in general right so we will be focusing on that part mm -hmm. like in each lecture you're gonna see like we're gonna show some pictures those pictures they you're gonna the student get to mark them mm -hmm. by just looking at them so with this process among uh, over those five months people they will know exactly how they will mark or they will have a good eye and idea and how they have to look at their project okay. this is something really important and i will emphasize on it in the next course okay. this is one of the things the things we are focusing on regarding also practice book because mm -hmm. we have that practice uh, acs practice booklet okay it's gonna start from the first from the start of the course we okay. are, because usually we started after we finish the demos right. now we're gonna start it from the start and mm -hmm. we will be focusing on just making people doing those tasks mm -hmm. even from before so we will Excellent. try to improve among that right. and uh, like usually we have you know sometimes you have those uh, a bit of a lazy uh, dentist who just want things to be ready for them right. we will tell you we will be ready for that like <laughs> everything Excellent. will be set up for you you just have to come set bring your material right. and work this right. is how, how it gets going to be. Awesome. So I think I think people are, uh, you know, they should be happy that we're yeah. going to do most of the work yes. for them. So yes. they can be relaxed, they can be stress-free, yeah, exactly. and they can focus on uh, Exactly. The focus will be mostly Absolutely. on the work itself. That's excellent. So Dr. Farsan, you, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> mentioned the structure, our uh, learning approach. You talked about uh, the work checks. You talked about the demos, uh, live demos being able to watch demo videos later on, yeah. uh, the way we uh, structure our course and of course mock exams uh, in the end. Yes. So there, that's the basic sort of format of uh, our, our, our prep doctor's clinical skills course. The f this is a five months program that I'm talking about. Yes. Uh, Dr. Farsan, can you tell me something more about, uh, you know, you mentioned the work checks. How are uh, the work checks uh, sort of a little bit more detailed of how we do it? Uh, I do know that we have a feedback process uh, towards the end. How do we approach, uh, you know, the individual students' performances in the clinical skills course? So in general, like, well, it depends on the way we are seeing these people mm -hmm. in general. So overall, like, I'll be seeing, let's say, this group, every one uh, one and a half week or two, two every two weeks right. i will see them and we'll see that difference 
in general between mm-hmm. the first time we always keep tracking even if we are not writing it and by the way we're going to be also doing that in general we're going to have a track record of each student right. this is also something going to do it later right. for the sake of recommendation at the end of the course absolutely so uh, let me explain what uh, that means w- we, uh, we have we, a lot of things right yes uh, <laughs> so we actually do uh, uh, individual like we have a record of each of your projects and your performances so when towards and uh, of course the mock exam results so towards the end uh, you will be sitting with one of the instructors and you'll go through the entire progress report and yes. that will uh, you know generate this uh, recommendation personalized recommendation for you Ex- about exactly. to how go ready or not to go you. exactly so right. so you don't uh, waste your attempt basically. as much as we can because again this is a this is a an NDEB yes. exam which is three attempt right you can do Hence. so we so don't want to we don't want to lose any of those excellent so uh, doctor uh, w- uh, when when it comes to uh, this uh, recommendation process and sort of looking at the progress reports you mentioned the practice uh, sort of uh, practice series mm. what is what is that what like is the extra practice that they're going to get they're going to get like uh, you mean like and throughout the, yes. uh, the 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 course itself mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the practices i was talking about is uh, i'm talking about like how they are going to evaluate themselves okay these things one of the one of the things they have they will be that we will add next or we will emphasize and right. focus on next course right. and also they're going to be uh, having those again the starts of the exercise booklet mm-hmm. will be really early okay. from the start of the course so they will be they will know exactly the, the way or the map of their course is going to be already right. showing up right. uh, all of these even like sessions mm-hmm. they're going to be already they will know uh, about them from the start mm-hmm. the calendar will mention everything and we emphasize everyone to look at the calendar right at the, and if there is any update we usually go through it through facebook we make right. those small sessions if right. there's an deb an update right. which usually happened a week before the exam mm-hmm. or two weeks and people they really freak out because oh, yes. those <laughs> updates sometimes they have some technical yes. parts where people have to worry about True. and sometimes they change their habits of something of we cope up with the students we tell them what to do in this case yes. how to tackle these things so you're gonna have the full baggage it's not yes. like you're gonna come uh, like take the course and we don't we are not gonna be right. like we will be caring and taking care of you from the start to the end up to the exam right. even in the exam days we keep in touch and if you want to reach any of the instructor in the, uh, in the end of the exam or if you want to talk to mm-hmm. regarding anything before the some people they might need those supports before the exam right. we give them always so in general this is like the, the, the whole process or the whole skills part we get to know these people more right. they become really like family we we become also family to right. them in the same time it's like it's 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 a different it's a different setup than like how acj or how ac uh, afk right going on so when it comes to the course content they're in great hands yes i, I yes. can say yeah. i'm sure they can feel exactly. assured about that. honestly all they have to do is just to practice because right. eventually it's about practice yes. at the end of the day it's exactly like learning if you're going to go to the the afk mm-hmm. FK materials everywhere. You can right. read textbooks. You can read whatever, like regarding the industry, and you will learn from mm-hmm, it. But mm-hmm. who who has to do this thing is you. Right. At the end of the day, that's how I tell people. So Absolutely. we will prepare things, and we will make it easy, right. and less stressful. At mm-hmm. the end of the day, just to focus to make people focus only on the practice part of it. Okay. Yeah. Um, Dr. Farsan, when it comes to, uh, you know, the environment yeah. of uh, practicing, of course, we have uh, our lab facilities. We have two labs, one in Mississauga, one in Richmond Hill. Yeah. Both the labs are the same. The same set of instructors uh, visits uh, Richmond Hill. So we, you're going to get Dr. Farsan goes to Richmond Hill. Dr. Farsan yeah, yeah. is going to be here. We have most of our instructors there in right. both, uh, in both the centers. We have very few. They are dedicated to Richmond and very right. few they are dedicated in, um, in Mississauga. But right. overall, it's the, the, main, the main, uh, let's say, instructor or most of the instructors, right. they will be in both, in locations. both locations. Right. And it's the same experience. It's the same lab facilities. D- so what are these uh, lab facilities that we offer, uh, doctor? Uh, so when when it comes to the setup, yes. what, what is the setup? So like? the course, I'll, I'll be talking the timing. So mm-hmm. generally, we will have three sessions every time. These three mm-hmm. sessions starts from uh, 8 in the morning to mm-hmm. 1, and the second session fr- or the afternoon session from 1 to 6, and right. from s- uh, the evening from 6 to 11. Five-hour practice sessions. Exactly. So mm-hmm. what they will have, they will have uh, first in, uh, in the, those stations, they will have Darwin heads. Mm-hmm. 
they will have exam chairs which they're gonna be rotating on it mm -hmm. uh, they will have also uh, amalgamator and light cure ready there for them right and also they will have uh, as we mentioned the the like whatever facility whatever in each uh, and each center they will right. have exactly the same things Absolutely. in both ways they will have also the technician mm -hmm. available there in yes. on both in both uh, floors yes. in both areas they will they, like all of these are shared and it's just common thing we right. like people even take it uh, they will always have it and they will see it all around mm -hmm. so generally we will have those similarities right. again why we have all of this just to make things less stressful yes in general right um, Dr. when it comes to uh, the actual uh, uh, equipment so I do know that we provide Darwin heads yeah. uh, to every station uh, what are the other facilities that we have in our lab you mentioned that we're getting new chairs this time yes but uh, can you tell me something more about the lab facilities in general the lab facility first of all the, the chairs in the lab they mm -hmm. are dental chairs in right. general inside the uh, each station it has mm -hmm. like a, a connection of high speed slow speed they okay. have the triple C range, they will have also the high section, slow section, like each setup is like a small clinic Perfect. In, okay. in each cubicle or in each station in general. Okay. And they will have, all, as I mentioned, like the, the light cure, the uh, amalgamator also uh, pre-set pre up there. Right. And mostly like those things, again, mm -hmm. as I mentioned, they just have to bring their instruments, right. their tibodons, their teeth, and they will focus on projects and work Right. So just bring your instruments, your ty typodons, your teeth. Uh, you will. Uh, we will provide e you the mounts. We will provide you the Darwin e head. E ex exactly. Right. The mount and the Darwin head. They will be already in the lab. Yes, and I'll repeat one of the things that Dr. Farsan mentioned that we do have uh, dedicated uh, lab technicians always uh, around. Uh, yes. Uh, the the the, the lab so if there's something uh, that needs uh, urgent fixing or if uh, he, any technical help is required yes yeah, it's, then it's we usually have take less than a day to be to be fixed and absolutely. to be ready this is for the maximum like when there's like right. usually it's within minutes within this minutes, is, uh, yes. is solved but uh, whatever like right. if we have like let's say that major thing happening because yes. things sometimes goes wrong it's maximum within one day everything will be fixed perfect so uh, you can uh, completely focus again on just the practice yes. all the technical technical aspects will be taken care of. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Dr. Farsan, uh, our, uh, what about the compressors? Uh, uh, we, we do have uh, up upgraded compressors yes. this time around? So, so generally we have like, because now we, are, we have, we see people are focusing on working more and we are right. seeing all of this thing. Uh, the lab will be also prepared with even uh, uh, a more equipped, uh, it's going to be more equipped for that reason so it okay. doesn't go, nothing will go wrong as, okay. as we mentioned because this is one of the things we always focus mm -hmm. on. Uh, as I mentioned, this this course uh -huh. we had some issues, some okay. technical issues with those because you know too much use sometimes it just course. things might go wrong. This will be also fixed. Excellent. Very soon, like in June, we are upgrading all of these things, and okay. they will be brand new for, for for like the the people who are coming or joining us in this July course. Okay, yeah. excellent. So, uh, Dr. Farsan, now the whole thing is set up from the lab to the learning techniques to uh, you know our instructors to student ratio. There's always there's there's instructors uh, who are going to be there most of the times to you know answer the questions exactly. students are going to be able to find them we have work check days we have instructor sessions it's all set up how would you recommend uh, like based on your experience with the previous acs courses you've seen a lot of doctors yeah. graduate actually start practicing their dentistry careers in canada what uh, techniques what kind of an approach has been the most helpful for people who have successfully completed their skills exam doctor yeah, like I, as i mentioned in the start skills exam is is, a, is it's an exam right. people consider it really like a crucial exam mm -hmm. or a, a, a big of a deal in general because it's a turning point mm -hmm. passing this exam it means that you are 95 percent done right and you are Good just one step away which yeah. is the written and the oski to start right. and if god forbid you didn't make it like you have to redo the uh, the attempt yes. especially if you are not mm -hmm. the third attempt mm -hmm. like, you are not going for your third attempt mm -hmm. so simply uh, people they will stress it out a lot right. and i always say there's four components for this exam which is the skills part as we mentioned mm -hmm. we're going to prepare everyone for it and we have also the time management mm -hmm. throughout the course they will get to Right. do that in general and we will have the 
crisis management if mm -hmm. something goes wrong in one of the project how to manage it and right. also throughout the practice they will learn and we will have the last part which is stress management and okay. stress control this part is really tough for us to teach we mm -hmm. will put people and or dentists and under these like stressful mm -hmm. situation to the best of our ability but right. nothing can be similar to the exam right. why it is that hard because really like the efforts mm -hmm. financially and even sacrifices among families and uh, sacrifices on the time you're going to spend it's like right. a full-time job the preparation Definitely. for the exam so those five months, mm -hmm. like the emotion will become really tense toward Absolutely. those two days. Yes. And I always say it, if you can't control your nerve in those two days, yes. if you have a normal skill, you're going to easily tackle right. and finish this exam. I mean, yes. And this is what people, honestly, if you talk to people who didn't make it or uh -huh. who didn't make it, most of the time it is stress. a stress taking over Definitely. this is what i always say so we will try to fix yes. that and we will try to teach people about that and we will be ke we will keep reminding the people right. how to to tackle it in general we really have a, a good success rate in general when it comes to this thing when you look at the ndb you're talking about usually mm -hmm. around 30 to 35 percent passing rate mm -hmm. we have around 65 Right. Between 65, sometimes to 70, sometimes goes right. up to 60. So Depending this is our the exactly. Yes. So in general, we have a good passing rate, right. and most of the students who finish, they know and they will be talking. We have a lot of people who comes just for the word of mouth, mm -hmm. just because they know what, the, what like the effort. Definitely. We really I mean, I I could say that you know we get a lot of feedback from uh, dentists who uh, you know come from the day of the exam, and yes. a lot of them just say that it it just felt like one of the mock exams. Yes. We were so relaxed because you know we've gone through these mock exams. We've, yeah. We, we uh, felt that sort of pressure so that's that what, what, pressure what, goes away exactly that's what i usually say like right. if you control your nerves yes this exam will be just uh, an an okay journey i don't want to see an, i don't want to say an easy journey but Absolutely. it's going to be an okay it's just an Definitely. exam as any exams that's how i talk about right. it no that's that's great that's a great point uh, because i mean as i mentioned they uh, what you were saying and what uh, as an instructor you're trying to teach them they have the same feedback when they, you know, come after they write the exam and yeah. they're like, you know, it just felt like one of the mock exams, mm -hmm. one of the prep doctor's Exa mock exa exams. Exactly. So, uh, that's, that's a great point, doctor. We do have a lot of questions coming in. Uh, so maybe it's, a, it's time to now start taking questions. Yeah. Uh, guys, if you have more questions, I'm going to take the questions that have come in. If you have more questions, uh, please send them to us in the comments and Dr. Farsan will answer them live. Um, in case we're not able to take some of your questions, we'll get back to you. Uh, we'll get them uh, checked by Dr. Farsan. Uh, we'll get your answers from him and we'll get back to you. But uh, Dr. Farsan, the first question comes in from uh, Dr. Uh, Angelica. Yeah. And she's asking, uh, she's saying that I have been using a 2.5 magnification for the past seven years. She's recently ordered a 3.5X. And uh, will that make a big difference based on your recommendation that it should be 3.2 only? I would say if she already used um, what, I'm, what I'm saying, because mm -hmm. we've seen most of the dentists, mm -hmm. they are not using groups. If she's using 2.5, okay. up to 3.5, I would say it's okay, because okay. The, whole part, uh, the whole part is just to get your eye used to a loop thing. Right. That's the point. Right. So if she's using 2.5, that would be fine for now. But if anyone who's just getting started mm -hmm. to use loops, mm -hmm. I would say 2.5 to 2.8 is the maximum sorry the the uh, recommended, recommended and the maximum not to go more than 3.2 okay yes all right uh, now being on the loops topic uh, another question came in from dr mariana uh, she's asking what advice you have for those wearing prescription glasses uh, like, n now if you are talking about like those companies they are taking in consideration those uh, like prescriptions so okay. basically when you are doing any loops in general mm -hmm. you have to fill in a prescription to go to your optometrist and get okay. a prescription of your eyes and they will adjust their loops okay. according to that so your prescription will be in the glasses or the lenses of the perfect loops. perfect so that's great uh, uh, that's a great information doctor um this question came over uh, email uh, would you recommend practicing at home besides lab work uh, how would that help and is it necessary this is really an important question. Yes. I get this question like on a daily basis. Okay. So generally we have, as I mentioned, five hours uh, of lab time or working time. Mm -hmm. 
more five hours a day if you really put in those five hours mm-hmm. dedicate them mm-hmm. for working right you don't need more than that because after that your mm-hmm. body gonna give up on you you're gonna be tired yes. those five hours is, are li- really a long time yes and again the things in the start it's not gonna be easy straightforward mm-hmm. so you're gonna be even like not only physically tired right. mentally also tired Definitely. so you have to take rest between those the first day the second day like yes. you have like five hours is more than an enough time to practice right. sometimes what we tell people because we've, we've seen people who already when they come to the lab they don't just focus on practicing they will be sharing information talking to each yes. other or sometimes socializing yes. i would say yes it's okay to have a, a home unit and it depends also on the student or the dentist it's yes. himself because or herself because generally if someone doesn't like to work in a group environment right they might just come get their information and their knowledge yes. and they might just practice at home and mm-hmm. that's also okay it's right. fine and we've seen a lot of successful successful story among that mm-hmm. some people they have where they live in general they have right. to travel to come to the center so mm-hmm. they come they usually come on those instructor and live demonstrations okay. and they practice at home th- during the, the week okay. so this is also a successful uh, method Technique, if you right. are away uh, mm-hmm. if you are really far away from the centers or the locations okay so can should you do it it depends on you okay. i personally prefer to do it i i'm talking about myself right. in lab mm-hmm. i like to work with people around me and i like to focus those five hours and to stop Perfect. because for five months they're gonna be more than enough right. if you feel like and and sometimes also the skills uh, mm-hmm. things like uh, how how skillful you are right. is also playing a role right. sometimes you might need a bit more time yes. so you might dedicate that thing also at right time. i mean i th- i think uh, as you mentioned doctor it's different for different uh, it's different exactly. uh, individually exactly. but uh, as the time goes by the more they interact uh, you know the instructors will give you a lot of personal time e- a lot exactly. of personal recommendations what so i would say it. what i would say in the start of the course don't make a setup at home right yes start the course Mm -hmm. see what your needs you're gonna also get feedback always from that you might decide to do it at home and to start working at home because usually in the first one two months Mm -hmm. people will be on that learning curve learning all of these projects and uh, like acquiring these skills uh, skills in in general and the last three months they're Mm -hmm. gonna be mastering them they're gonna be right. become more efficient they're gonna make more consistent work and this is what we'll be focusing on Definitely. this is the difference between the first two months and the last three months. right and I, I think uh, from from our end from the administrative a- end uh, we do have a lot of rentals that uh, we do yes. provide so if people want to practice at home they can choose to uh, rent a few things and yeah. practice at home so yes. based on the learning approach that fits them we have again we provide the environment for that yes so take it slow as dr Fasan mentioned the, the, your instructors will be giving advice as you go uh, you know at different stages of yeah, just, the course just so when when they get to uh, like to start this thing right. i don't want them just to uh, just you know lose that money or something exactly. they might not use they can just get started right and usually those things are really easy to just make that setup Excellent. i'm talking about like home units in general absolutely so it's not gonna take time when they are thinking about it okay um dr Fursan, next question uh, comes in uh, uh, from one of the people who've registered for our courses they're asking do they need to bring any equipment uh, on the orientation day do they need to come with their whole kits uh, on it's the orientation in day. the orientation day they can come and show us their kits because okay. we might help them through like uh, whatever needed okay in general like if someone really like i just want to make it a bit easier usually when we start the course Mm -hmm. we don't need that many things okay we start with usually those projects Mm -hmm. where they need less instrument okay so uh, like we are not giving them a chance to say oh i didn't practice because i don't all right it's gonna be so easy like to start the course Mm -hmm. People, when they start the course, what mm-hmm. we need from them, we need them just a, a little bit of bears, tibodont, teeth, and handpiece. That's okay. all we need in the start of the course. Okay. Among, with time, they're going to build up that thing. So right. some people, they will go and they buy that complete kit, and still, they are not going to be using all of this material mm-hmm. in the start, okay. from the start, from like day one. Perfect. So they can bring their instruments, right. we can go over them, mm-hmm. and, uh, like sometime, just check some of these things, mm-hmm. and we might tell them what to bring for the next session, which will be the first 
project or the first instructor session okay we call it and the first lecture for on the first project okay but if they don't have the kids that's they're that's, okay. that's they don't fine not yeah required that's required to bring the whole yeah kids. that's fine okay so some people they you know they just wanna they want th- some instructor to tell them oh they're uh, they're they are set they are ready yes yes if yes. you are from those you can't bring Absolutely. it there's no if problem. you have your kids ready yes. bring them uh, our yes. instructors will give you the uh, feedback about uh, how ready your kids are but yes. if they're not ready don't stress you don't need your whole kids in on the orientation day yes. and the orientation and they're gonna get just an information about the course they get right. to see us to know uh, to talk in right. general and uh, we will be telling them what to prepare for the first day okay. and we will get them familiar with lab we will get them familiar with the facility in general okay. so this is all about the the uh, first or the introduction session perfect so that's the whole uh, i think idea of the orientation exactly. day so don't stress and uh, you're going to be yes. good and you'll know how the course is going to progress once you attend the orientation exactly. day exactly Okay, that's an excellent answer, Doctor. The next question comes from Dr. Sandhu. Mm. Uh, course classes would be on the weekdays or the weekends? When are the instructor days, the classes, Usually, uh, Usually, most mm-hmm. of the time, these sessions will be uh, in the weekdays. Okay. okay? Sometimes some instructors, they might, they might have those like situation mm-hmm. where they, they can't attend in those days. They will right. reschedule them. It might be in another weekdays or okay. it might be in a weekends. But okay. mostly the structure of the course, mm-hmm. it is in the we- in weekdays. Perfect. So yeah. that answers the question. Uh, Doctor, the next question comes from Dr. Sami. Uh, for someone using loops for the first time, uh, again, first time loop users, yes. what magnification would you recommend? I would say always 2.5 to 2.8, okay. not more than that. And All not right. less than 2.5. 2.5 to 2.8 is usually uh, what we recommend. And they are always available in the, in the market. Like mm-hmm. when you go to any loop company, they have that, those options most of the time between 2.5, 2.8, and 3. Perfect. Okay, so that's the answer about uh, first-time loop users. Exactly. Um, Doctor, the next question comes from uh, Dr. Angelica again. Uh, she's asking that, you know, all the changes and the upgrades that you mentioned uh, from the student-instructor ratio to our lab facilities, are they coming in from this July? Yes, they start by July. Yes, so They're they gonna are... going to be there by July. Yes. We are talking only updates. about July, like uh, right. what is coming up. For the next... Yes. This next cycle that's starting up. Um, we, Dr. Farzan mentioned it in the beginning. I would like to sort of rehash it for you guys. Out of our uh, five courses, five ACS courses, yeah, uh, like most of them are fully three booked. Sessions are fully booked. Fully booked. We have very few seats remaining in the uh, in two sessions. So uh, I think evening evening batch. One of the evening batches has some seats, and one of the afternoon, afternoon batches. Batch, yeah. uh, you can check on our website which batches have seats left. If you haven't reserved your seats, I would say, it, I would recommend to do it in at least- yeah, uh, should be as soon as possible. In the next week, I think next week or so, I think uh, beyond that would be too late. Yeah, so usually it's gonna be tough. Next week or be, two, uh, that's, that's I think uh, yeah, a, a good time. A month toward the course usually is gonna be usually harder. Harder, right. Yeah, but if you are like focusing on one session in yes. particular, you should just ask about it right now. Right now and uh, you know, ask us any questions if you have and uh, we'll be happy to answer them, but we don't want you to sort of uh, wait till the last moment and not find a seat. Yeah, yes. that happens a and l- always, all like the every, time. Every, every six and, months uh, we go through this. Yes, yeah. we'd, we'd like, feel really, we we're, we're heartbroken when you know, you're really prepared to take the exam and yes, you can't because, find a seat. Because we have capacity here, exactly. like we have uh, stations. Right. It's really tough to just accommodate everyone. Definitely. This is why we always have that problem. And the right. demands usually in skills is not, it's is very high, high. and uh, we have uh, we have a fixed number of stations. Is, uh, yeah, each is, station belongs uh, to ex- a student exactly. for that time. Yeah, this so is this is why it is a bit tough to right. to just accept anyone. So exactly, no, we have those, I agree. Uh, those number, and we cannot go beyond them. Definitely, no. I, the allocations are very uh, uh, are made in advance. Uh, each to each each station yes. it has been allocated to a certain yes, student. Exactly. Everyone will be just like sign up. Yes. Uh, will be signed up for uh, a, a station for mm-hmm. the, those five hours. Right. So yeah. guys, register uh, as soon as possible because uh, we really uh, want you uh, want to take you to that next step yes. of completing your uh, ACS course. Um, 
Doctor, that's uh, it for all the questions that have been coming in uh, for now. We'll mm. share more questions if they come with yes. you later. But uh, before we before we conclude, uh, we do know that the ACS, uh, the current batches ACS exam is coming up. Yes. Uh, what tips do you have for them? Uh, what would you like to say to them, doctor? So generally, for the people who are showing up to this exam, mm -hmm. and I always mention it, or I mentioned it throughout this also mm -hmm. uh, session, th the things they have to focus on is to secure their uh, projects, the things they are familiar with, or right. they like to do them, to start with them, not to start with the projects they really usually have problem with it. Mm -hmm. This is really one of the things I like, because if I'm doing an exam, I really want to achieve and gain my uh, successful projects first right. and I will be focusing on those like projects where I'm not sure or I'm not right. really like uh, those projects where maybe I don't like or right. I'm not really good at them confident. exactly yes. so I will keep them to the end this mm -hmm. is one of one of the points I really emphasize and push it all over okay. and always yes. the second thing is just control your nerves mm -hmm. and try in those two days to minimize the, the like let's say the outside of the exam yes. environment thinks that anything will stress you out right. just take it off like mm -hmm. don't 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 let it bother you in those two days right. because in those two days it's all about you mm -hmm. you just have to finish m pass this exam and everything after that hopefully will be much better, will be much better. so control your stress w gain and achieve mm -hmm. your A's achieve your best projects first right. like fi finish them and get your mm -hmm. your A's first and right. hopefully everything will go fine it will go fine we yeah. know they've put in a lot of hard work yeah yeah so there's, there's we're like definitely sure that they're gonna do great exactly exactly awesome doctor uh, and uh, doctor any last uh, tips for those who are joining us for the upcoming course uh, the what do we want to say on the, on the start the only thing I would always just advise mm -hmm. please your loops make sure you order it because most so these companies they take time to to make it mm -hmm. uh, sometimes they take up from th four weeks up to eight and 12 okay. weeks all right uh, your teeth you should mm -hmm. already like you should be ready with that order at least right. in the start we might not need those specialty teeth mm -hmm. we might we usually pl start on plastic teeth but the specialty order should be there right because sooner or later you're going to be working on them mm -hmm. and the material it should be like at least the minimum requirement material should be they should manage to get to it at least okay. by the by the first two weeks of the course okay this is simply what they have to focus on and throughout the course everything would be just explained and they will know more and more okay that's excellent. Uh, so we wish you from, on behalf of uh, all the prep doctors team, uh, those who are taking the exam, uh, the ACS exam. Yeah, we now wish next them week. all the best we and hopefully the best. they will do great. Yes, they will, you guys will do great. Uh, and uh, thank you so much for joining us today uh, on our live. Thank you, Dr. Farsan, for giving thank us you. this wonderful information. I'm sure thank it's going to be so helpful for those who are coming for the course. And uh, thank you, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you.